Lawmakers are scrambling tonight to pass a health care overhaul bill with President Barack Obama campaigning to push the Senate's plan. And now it's up to the House, and the make or break vote could be in the hands of local House Rep Jason Altmaier. Team 4 investigator Paul Van Osdall here to explain how you're being pushed to get involved in all this. Yeah, there's a lot of ads that's going on. As you may have seen, groups for and against health care reform are spending millions of dollars in ads. One of the groups is called the Committee to Rethink Reform. Team 4 has learned the man behind that group is so controversial, even his friends call him Dr. Evil. Americans are in the middle of an economic storm, and an even bigger crisis is brewing. Our nation you may have seen this ad by the Committee to Rethink Reform running on local television. The ad says the new health care bill is scary. Trillions in new government spending on health care will likely trigger more economic disaster, putting job security and our finances at risk. The committee is targeting local congressman Jason Altmaier and 10 others on the fence about the health care bill with its million dollar ad buy. The committee was created by Richard Berman, a Washington lobbyist who runs nonprofit groups targeting animal rights group PETA and community action group ACORN, among others. All of these organizations appear to be nonprofit organizations that are set up to, in some way, benefit uh, Americans. And yet, in reality, these are all industry backed front groups, and Richard Berman's is really nothing more than a public relations guy. Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington, or CRU, has set up its own website targeting Berman. A spokesperson for Rethink Reform says Berman is a target because his groups run edgy ads on controversial issues, and people opposed to them like to say bad things about Berman. The spokesperson would not say who funded the ad targeting the health care bill. We are being tricked by these kind of ads and these names of these organizations, which sound very um, uh, American and trustworthy, and yet in reality, they're hiding the true, uh, the true folks behind the ads as well as their agendas. There's also an anti-health reform bill ad that's sponsored by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Of course, that is clearly a business group. In the next few days, expect to see pro-health care reform ads sponsored by liberal groups, and we'll be taking a look at those as well. And as for Congressman Altmaier, he has still not decided whether to back the health care bill, but he, of course, is getting plenty of lobbying himself from even the president. You can imagine so. Oh, yeah. All right, this is going to be a hot topic mm -hmm. for a while. Thank yes, you very is. much, Paul. Okay. Paul, thank you.